Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to create this kind of star tunnel animation. It's a very simple network based on some noise textures that drive an instance based particle system with some post effects. So it's uh, yeah, very suitable for beginners as well. Let's start from scratch and create a sphere, set its primitive type to polygon and its radius to something very small like 0.005. This will be the base size of our particles. Connect it to a GeoComp and also create and assign a constant material with this bright blue azure uh, color to it. Create a basic render setup with a camera, a light, render top and a null behind it. So we see what's going on here. Create a noise top, set its resolution to 550 times 550 um, and this resolution is equal to the number of particles we will generate. Set it to simplex 2D, set the period to 1.1, offset to 0 and also turn off monochrome. Connect it to a point transform, limit and denial to it and just leave it for now, we'll come back to that later. Create another noise top, reference the resolution from the first one to it and connect a level and null to it. Now let's go to our ge geometry and turn on instancing and drop the first null to the translate OP. Set RGB for X, Y and Z. Drag the second null to the scale OP. and also set RGB. Let me turn off the active viewers here. For some reason they affect the frame, frame rate a lot. All right, we see some particles now, but nothing is moving. So let's animate the point transform with apps time dot seconds on the Z axis. Well, we don't see any particles anymore. That's because they are now far away down the z-axis. We can fix this with the limit top by setting the limit type to loop. Now the particles repeat endless within the maximum and minimum value. Uh, let's set it to minus 6.5 and 6.5. It still just looks like a small static point cloud, but we want to see inside these points. Let's go back to our first noise and set the amplitude to 8, so the points get spread out more. And let's also close the geometry viewer. Alright, that looks already good, but the points are a little bit too big, I think. So with the level top we can reduce the size. I set it to 0.5. Okay, that's it for the particle network. Now we can do some post-processing. But let's add an RGB key first before the null to have a black background. Here I just set my desired resolution, in my case Full HD, and set the pixel format to 32-bit float. Alright, from the render add a feedback, a level, a blur and a composite. Set the composite to over and drag it onto the feedback top. Set the opacity in the level top to 0.9 and in the blur top the pre-shrink to 2. That has already some galaxy vibes, but with some more glow effects it looks even better. So let's add the bloom from the palette and also a composite which is set to over. We only adjust the threshold to 0.07 and bring the input level mix out to zero. And voila, here we are flying through space. Let's just add some twist to it with the twirl composite from the palette and uh, yeah, then we are almost done already. 
adjust the center point and reduce the twirl to something like 2 for the fake effect of a smooth rotation. That's it. Easy, right? Hit that like button if you liked this quick tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more. Peace out.